the breathing is the breathing is so hard. There are a lot of very obscure world records out there involving food, and I'm going to search out the dumbest, the weirdest, the most insane, and I'm gonna try and beat them. This is for every high school guidance counselor, every Little League coach, and every teen on Xbox Live who said I'd never amount to anything. First up, I found a video of this guy. He chugs a liter of gravy through a straw in a minute and 12 seconds. I think I can beat him. All right, so this guy's name is Steven Ruppel. He's a chiropractor from Wausau, Wisconsin. Nothing about being a chiropractor gives you a specific advantage in this. Anyways, he's just dumping cans of very gelatinous Campbell's gravy into a liter beaker, using a very normal straw, and he's just sucking it down. This guy's actually pretty quick. He's got, he's got powerful sucking strokes. Here we go, though. He's only about nine seconds in, and he's already pulled away from the straw. That's what you need to avoid. You need to avoid any sort of breakage in your stride. Like, it's almost like a Lamaze breathing technique, in my opinion. Also, he's got a pretty firm grip on the straw, which I don't think is helping him at all. I'm wondering if it's, if it's his breathing that's getting obstructed, if it's his sucking muscles that are getting tired, or if he's getting sick of the taste of gravy. One minute, 12.5 seconds is the official time to beat. Okay, so this guy's a chiropractor. Like, he has no specific training in these sports whatsoever. And yes, I do consider gravy chugging a sport. I was a D1 athlete, hammer thrower at UCLA, and if I use the athletic principles that I learned and translate that into gravy chugging and use it to beat this very average-sized chiropractor from Wisconsin. Okay, so we have all our equipment set out. This is what a liter looks like. I wish I could just shove the gravy in there and just go <coughs> and slurp it down like a giant gravy gogurt, but we have to put it in a graduated cylinder to make sure it comes exactly up to the one liter line. That's what Dr. Steven Ruppel did. He poured the chicken gravy in there, and then he microwaved it to heat it up, which is gonna make it a little easier because it's gonna run thinner, drop that viscosity level a little bit. Because if you see the cold gravy right now, which Stephen Ruppel said he does not like cold gravy, hot take on that one, Steve. Uh, you can see it's just, it's real gelatinous. This is gonna be pretty hard to suck through a straw. Hoping it gets thinner when you warm it up. But honestly, it tastes pretty good. Some white pepper in there, not bad. And then we have all our straws. We got some big guys. We got some boba straws, some bendy straws, but what he uses in the video looks like just your average plain plastic straw. We're not trying to cheat this in any way. I want a legitimate record, no asterisk. We're not going Barry Bonds on this one, fair and square. So I need to see what an average person can do with a liter of gravy, someone with no athletic talent, not a competitive bone in their body. I need to see what this looks like just in a vacuum. Josh, you have to warm it. What? You have to I'll warm, warm it later, but I just, I need to see the flow of the gravy coming out. And also this is hilarious to watch the fear in your eyes. I think it's fun. Josh, that's a lot more. Th okay. No, it's not. Right. No, no, okay. no, it's settling. Okay, that's, it's yeah, mm -hmm. it's totally settling. Yeah, nice and settled. Okay, I'm gonna warm this up for you. Okay, thank you. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You might throw up. That's a distinct possibility. I might throw up. We all have to be prepared for every possible outcome. Are you confident about your chances to finish it? No. Here's your straw. Just give it a little. Do you think it's it's warmed in the in the middle? Yeah. Well, you just gotta stir it. Oh, it's so much <gasps> thicker than I thought. Okay. We're a little bit over a liter, which is good. You want to overtrain. If you're training for the 400, run 410 meters, go all the way through the line. Do I need to finish this? I mean. <laughs> I don't. I look at me in the face. I yeah. don't want to finish this. You don't have to finish it. You just have to okay. do the best you can, and then I need to analyze what you're doing so I can figure okay. out what I need to do. Okay. Nicole, you're like my trainer. You're like the Mick to my Rocky. I'm the trainer, oh, You're the great. Brigitte Nielsen to my Ivan Drago, actually. Hell yeah. I think Steven Ruppel's probably the good guy in this scenario, and I'm the bad I guy. I am totally Brigitte Nielsen. Okay, the gravy's moving. <laughs> She's laughing, that's a bad sign. <laughs> she seems in physical discomfort. Mm -mm. She's not going fast, she's already failing. Nicole, suck harder. <laughs> just really, just use your chest. You got about 27 seconds left. Ooh. How's your jaw locking up? <laughs> it's become a, like a workplace hazard at this point. And uh -oh. one twelve, you're done. I started here and I got down to there. This actually makes me kind of nervous now. Yeah, I don't um, know how you're gonna do this. You were pretty. You were consistently like I sucking it down. Yeah, I was consistently. Sucking. And the gravy wasn't moving. My recommendation is that you should train for this because, considering the fact how much I got down. I think you have some work ahead of you. So in the hammer throw, which is my main frame of reference, I get that these aren't exactly similar, 
but you'll do what's called underweight and overweight training. So you go with the hammer that's lighter than the one you'd normally throw in competition to teach yourself to keep up with the speed. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna see how fast I can chug a liter of water with a straw. All right, I'm gonna start the clock. Uh, uh, <laughs> the breathing is the breathing is so hard. Oh god! Wow, how am I gonna do that when it's gravy? Oh my god! Okay, twenty-seven seconds. I, I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna lie at this point um, because that's water, and we got gravy coming up. And I mean, I thought I'd do that in about fifteen seconds. So uh, yeah, now I gotta try the overweight training. I'm gonna try and chug ice cold gravy thicker really work on that sucking power, see how fast I can go. Hi, it's me, Josh. You know the main guy in the show that you're watching right now? Before I chug all that gravy and potentially go into cardiac arrest, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the Mythical YouTube channel. If enough people subscribe, I'll be granted new food shows from the internet food gods. Make sure to click that bell for notifications and thank you for all the support. Now I'm gonna try and chug, this is gravy straight from the fridge. You can just see, it's like the consistency of Jello. We're gonna reset the clock. I'm not gonna do a full liter because I need to save some for game time, but I'm gonna try and hit it with like a quick sprint. Quick explosive sprint, fast out of the blocks. My legs are shaking from nerves. I just started taking this like really seriously. <laughs> like it was jokes before this, but now, okay. Uh, oh no. But we're still rolling. All right. Ah! Come on, speed. Fast and go. Oh, it's so bad when it's cold, and I don't see it getting that much better when it's warm. Also, I don't know what I was timing at all. I don't know what those numbers mean. That was completely pointless. So I learned with the water that if I'm trying to sprint the whole way and I'm just that I'm not gonna breathe and I'm gonna get the liquid in my nasal cavity, because that's what happened. So with this, I learned long, strong pulls, learned the breathing technique with that. I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be which is sad because I'm not ready at all. I'm getting worried at this at this point. The, the confidence I had, all that bravado, it was false. I was overcompensating. I don't know what I was talking about. So as it turns out, it costs money to send an official judge out here from Guinness to ratify the record. So instead of that, we have Nicole with a stopwatch. And to distract, from the sounds of me just slurping gravy for a minute and 12 seconds straight, we have David on color commentary. David, so thank Josh, you. Yeah. Um, please head to your commentary booth. There's one more detail we gotta discuss. Upon further video analysis, we found that Dr. Stephen Ruppel was using an opaque plastic straw. That means it's gonna have a harder plastic to it. That means there's not gonna be as much flex and it won't restrict the flow as much. We're gonna switch straws. If you wanna cry foul in the comments, Please do that. If you want to fight me in the alley outside Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, I encourage you, but this is what we're doing. Ah! All right, you ready for this? <laughs> All right, straws in the gravy. Give All it a right. little stir. All right, I'm gonna count down three, two, one, go. Okay. Three, two, one. One liter of Campbell's chicken gravy. Can Josh drink it under 72 seconds? He is sipping really quick. He's already 100 milliliters off. Um, 800 milliliters to go, uh, wow. Wow, I've never seen a man suck this fast before. That is crazy. <laughs> 72, se 72 seconds, Josh. You need to suck faster than that, man. If you want to break the record, you gotta, you gotta go way faster than that. You're about 400 milliliters off. How about halfway go, uh, halfway true? Halfway laugh, let's go, Josh. You can do this, I believe in you. You got your headband on, you got your wristband on. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 300 milliliters, Josh, let's go, let's go. 300 milliliters, you can do this. You can do this, 200 milliliters. You got this, you got this. You got this, you're so close. 
72 seconds is the record to beat. You're a chef. He's a chiropractor. You got this. 106. 107. Oh my god. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Two seconds. Oh my god. Oh no. You were so close. So oh my god. close. No. Oh what my was my time? God. What was our time? I feel so sick. You were 1-18. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I did all that for nothing. Sorry. It's so bad. But you know what, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to me? That's for finishing one liter of chicken gravy. I hate this. That's still an accomplishment, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I just well drank like 2,000 calories and it's literally 3,000% my daily oh sodium my intake. I checked. <laughs> I have kidney stones now and no world record. Dr. Steven Ruppel. Where are you out there running your successful chiropractor practice? Probably have a family out there who's very proud of you for the world record that you still have. Honestly, I gotta give it up to you. That was really difficult. And um, it, this isn't dumb though. I'm still proud of my effort. I mean, we know who we are as a team. You guys did great. Dave and really the star here. Hold Nicole, that. I think we can walk away with our heads held high, but our job here is not done. Not even a little bit. And remember to subscribe to the Mythical channel, click the bell, get notifications. If you do, we can make more food shows like this. I don't feel good. You call this a food show? <laughs>